Paying for fakes, YouTubers meltdown. Australia's biggest beauty influencer and YouTube star Chloe Morello has launched an attack on fake Instagrammers who she claims are committing fraud by using fake followers to get products, overseas trips and exposure from big brands. Morello posted a 17-minute video on Thursday night in the hope it would reach the Australian beauty industry and clue them into the fake influencers circulating online and ripping off companies. Chloe Morello has more than two. Three million subscribers on YouTube. Source Instagram. Morello, who launched her career in 2008 and now has more than two. Three million subscribers on YouTube and 992,000 followers on Instagram, said she is seeing influencers committing fraud by acquiring followers and comments on Instagram that aren't real. It is definitely frustrating to see people given the same opportunities as me, going to the same events. Overseas holidays, hundreds and hundreds of free product and even being paid by brands, she says to the camera. I've done a lot of research and I believe their following is fake. I have a real following, but some of these people have a fake following and at the end of the day, the brand is investing their money to sell product and these people don't have a real following. Chloe Morello has launched an attack on fake Instagrammers. Source YouTube. Morello, who doesn't name any of the influencers she is accusing of being fraudulent, spoke of how frustrating it was to see fake followers get paid opportunities over those with a genuine audience. It's my duty as someone in my position to Edward Snowden this SHT, she said. Morello said the first fake influencer she came across, posted a beauty video that had more likes than views. I'm not good at maths, but that's not possible, she said. She has really good pictures, so it's very frustrating that she can't be patient and work hard like I did and like my friends do. Chloe Morello said she first came across a fake Instagrammer when the likes exceeded the views on a beauty video. Source YouTube. Morello said that the Instagrammer in question consistently had around the same amount of comments and likes for every single post. Whereas legitimate influencers have a natural fluctuation when it comes to interaction and engagement. I think it does matter. Because a makeup brand will want to work with these people based on their following and engagement, she said. They look at it and say, wow, 
This person has a really loyal following, they are really engaged and commenting on all their posts. So the brand is paying for nothing. They are paying for fake followers, fake likes and fake comments. And that's fraud. Chloe Morello said some influencers are using comment pods to get more engagement on posts. Picture, Christian Gilles Source News Corp Australia. In August this year, marketing agency Mediacix created two influencer accounts using purchased followers and comments, to prove how easy it was for fake Instagrammers to get paid brand deals. According to The Independent, the organization constructed a lifestyle and fashion-centric Instagram model and a travel and adventure photographer, who locked in four paid brand deals by the end of the short experiment. The first account created, Calabi at Girl 310, was reportedly made by taking photographs of one girl in multiple locations during a one-day photo shoot. The second influencer, Wandering Girl, was created by using exclusively free stock images of popular, scenic destinations like Paris and Maui. In August this year, marketing agency Mediacix created two influencer accounts using purchased followers and comments, to prove how easy it was for fake Instagrammers to get paid brand deals. Source Instagram The first step in the experiment was using stock images that looked legit, while the second part of the process was updating both Instagram feeds on a regular basis. Mediacix bought 1,000 followers per day from websites selling fake Instagram accounts, and when Instagram failed to detect the practice, they started buying 15,000 at a time. Eventually, the accounts had amassed a collective 80,000 followers, and Mediacix were able to move on to simulating engagement. According to the publication, once both accounts were signed up to marketing platforms, they were able to pick up four sponsorship deals. The fashion account secured one deal with a swimsuit company and one with a national food and beverage company, Mediacix said. The travel account secured brand deals with an alcohol brand and the same national food and beverage company. For each campaign, the influencers were offered monetary compensation, free products, or both. Instagram allows users to share photos and stories, with some influencers making thousands from a single post. Sources Doc Mediacix said these fake influencers were becoming more and more commonplace, and were damaging to the brands and the authenticity of the industry. Instagrammers with completely or partially fake followings and or engagement present advertisers with a unique form of ad fraud that's becoming more and more commonplace and could be siphoning tens of millions of dollars from brands, it said. In March this year, a code set by the Australian Association of National Advertisers stipulated that under new standards, all social media influencers must clearly label all sponsored content. Basically, 
the new code meant that Australians would now have a pretty good idea when a post that popped up in their Instagram news feed was paid or not. But there are grey areas when it comes to the code. While it's usually pretty clear when an influencer spruiks a hotel or a brand of makeup, the grey area falls when a brand simply sends an influencer a pair of shoes and then they endorse it on social media. According to the Tribe Group, influencers are generally able to ask between $75 and $1,200 per post depending on their following. Not happy. Chloe Morello wants to bring down the fakes.source YouTube. Speaking to news. Com. O. Oh, media law lecturer Jeff Holland, from the University of Technology in Sydney said the laws around brands and influencers are a delicate situation. It really is up to the brand to do its due diligence and ensure that there is a contract in place to protect them, Mr. Holland said. So the brand can withdraw their product from the use of the blogger as soon as they become aware of any irregularities, such as a fake following. So at the moment, there is very little that can be done, for brands, so it comes back to the business to do due diligence at the beginning of the discussion, with the influencer, and continue monitoring throughout. YouTube star Chloe Morello wants to lift the lid on fake influencers. Source supplied. Morello said that some influencers were even resorting to comment pods to increase their engagement. A comment pod is a group of people or influencers that want to create engagement on their page, she said. It's a WhatsApp group or something similar and it will have hundreds of influencers in the WhatsApp group. The idea is that you post your pictures in the WhatsApp group and everyone in that group will go and like and comment on your picture. <laughs>